Yo, what up, guys? What up, what up? We are take two, guys. Take two. So much more active. Everybody's pointing, staring. Let's see what happens here in a minute. What up, what up, Gilbert, 420, Steve, CJ Audits, Audit, Auditing Northern Ireland, hell yeah. Everybody seems to be like tripping out, you know, I mean, they're not like running over here or nothing, but... kind of staring back and forth. I think the gig is over on this one though. Everybody's heading out, so. Guys, take two, Shinduli Sunday. That's him, that's him. Is it really him? Could it really be him this time? That's him in three, two, one action. That's him. That is him. Well, I've seen the, it was the biggest facility I can see with my eyes, guys. I had to stop by. So. I don't really know the whole truth behind the line here or anything or what their services or who they're, who they're preaching, you know? Pásale, pásale. So what my be? Careful. What is this? Huh? It was spreading the good word of the and Lord. Cut, what I mean, uh, the woman, the woman will cut. Yeah. This? Sure. What? Sure it is. Tell us. Tell me everything. Tell me everything you know. You're very wise. Tell me now. Tell me, Shandu. Is this land of Shandu? Is this the land of Shandu? You know what, actually, another thing that caught my eye, it was like uh, something about Shandu something. So I was like, really, is this Shandu? Let me in! Could this be the land of Shandu? It's like St. John, Church of something, but... Land of Shandu in three, two, one, action! Cut. Ooh, he didn't like that. Could be Land of Shandu. Whoa, did 
Yo, you scared me! Stop it! She scared me. She came like a bat out of hell. Ba Boom! Sick. She's provoking me! Standard Shandu walking in. Three, two, one, action! And cut! Oh man, I gotta reset everything. What's up? That's the wrong line. I gotta reset everything. Hold on. Damn it. The, the line is uh, Shandu Shala. Ready? In three, two, one, action! Cut! You're walking the wrong way. You're supposed to walk in. Cut! Leather jacket in three, two, one, action! He's provoking me, guys. He's provoking me. You want to go park over there and then walk all the way over here, the walk of shame. And then the walk of shame, the back of shame. Three, two, one, action! Landa Shandu, cut, action! And cut! Landa Shandu, three, two, one, action! Action! Cut! She's taking too long! Cut! Can't use it! Delete the scene, delete the video, rewind the tape. Delete that picture, my boy. Sock check, my boy. Delete the scene. Cut! Reset. Where'd that guy go? Damn it, I didn't see where the guy went. I think he just took off, obviously. Leather, leather jacket. See if we see him again, guys. Pay attention for the leather jacket. Shandu Shalan, three to one action. Okay. Nobody wants to give me a Shandu Shalan. What's up with that? Walking in, three to one action. Cut! Cut! Interruption! Scene interruption! Quiet on the set! Shoes are too loud! And action! Red shirt walking in! 3, 2, 1, action! And cut! Red shirt made it in. Perfect. I like the shave. Good, clean shave. Everything good. All we need now is some drama. Three, two, one, action! Show me the, show me the attitude. Cut. Quiet on the set. Background noise. Too much background noise, quiet on the set. Cut, he just standing there, cut. Delete yourself from the scene. Retake, we can't use it. We can't use it, video's no good. And rewind the tape. Delete the scene, delete yourself from the scene. Not looking good. All right, let's do the not looking good uh, scene of shame. Three, two, one, action. And cut. Got it. Got it. Let's go ahead and move in the extras. Go ahead and get these uh, extra dummies out of the way. Let's get the extra dummies to go ahead and keep moving. Security! Security! Security, get him! Quiet on the side. 
No background noise, quiet on the set. Flexing his chicken arms in three, two, one, action. And cut. That was perfect chicken arm flexing. Perfect. I knew you could do it. Chicken on the set. Hold the scene. And cut. Hold the scene, we got scene interruption, walking through, clear. Let's go to move forward, chicken arm flexing, three, two, one, action. And cut. That was great, that was great. Love the back of the head scene, perfect. Exiting vehicle, three, two, one, action. Uh, he's not exiting, cut, we can't use it. He's not exiting, he just cut somebody off. Cut. Position three, scene one. We've got a newcomer, actor on scene, black dress, three, two, one, action. Newcomer walking through, three, two, one, action. And cut, that was perfect. That was great. I like the black dress scene, it's perfect. Hold the scene, scene interruption. We got background noise, background movement, hold the scene. Cut. Hello? Hello, who's this? Hello, who's this? What are you doing? Hello, hello, who's this? Who is this? Cut, he's not answering the questions. Let me go ahead and delete the video. Hold on, I gotta delete this scene real quick. It didn't work. Exiting vehicle, three, two, one, action! Cut, that was great. Cut, that's the wrong line. What did you say? You forgot the line? Did you forget the line? That was not the line. The line was perfect. Let's do it again, okay? Ready? Three, two, one, action! I can't believe I have to retell you the lines. Didn't you get the email? Did you get the notification? Not a notification. Let's send the notification in. Send the email. Go read the email. Come back when you're done. Three, two, one, action! And cut. Great. That was great. We got the confused con uh, conversation. Let's go ahead and check that scene off. Confused conversation scene. Check. Let's go ahead and move forward. Three, two, one, action.
Let's go ahead and get actor Shandu on scene. Cut. Let's let's cut this here. Let's get Shandu Shala on scene. If you guys can get Shandu Shala, we need Shandu Shala on scene. Let's go ahead and move forward with the, with the Shandu scene. Three, two, one, action. Move them in. Cut. We got background noise. Hold the scene. Hold the scene, hold the scene. We got background noise. Crying about a taser. Three, two, one, action. Cut. We need the gate open. Cut. The taser can go through the gate. Three, two, one, action. Cut. He almost cut somebody off and crashed. Wow, so many scenes here. Let me go ahead and check them all off here. Hold on. The crybaby is shame. The walk is shame. Check. The phone call is shame. Check. Let me call daddy of shame. Check. The almost wrecking in the middle of the street. Check. Wrecking your own brain. Check. Confused conversation. Check. You don't know our rights. Check. You don't know what freedom is, check. Got it. Oh, man. We got a lot checked off here today. Still filming through the gate in 3, 2, 1, action! They only close the gate like an eighth of the way. Action! <laughs> is that for protect your own protection? Hold on, cat. Let me ask the questions. Hey, did they? Did you close it only that much for protection? Because it's not working. What? Wow, is it? Let me see. What's the law? Tell me the law. I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Why are you stating laws that you don't know, man? Cut! Cut! He doesn't know what an iPhone is. Cut! He says, my phone's pretty good and his is trash. Cut. I don't like that. You can't talk about yourself in your iPhone like that. Walking through, three, two, one, action. Cut. Got it. Got the walk through on the sidewalk. Check. Exiting the scene, white car. I think we got a white car ready, but let's roll it again. White car exiting scene, three, two, one, action. Red shirt getting out of white car action. Cut. Telling secrets is not allowed. We're on set. We need all audio available on set. Only I call quiet on the set, not you. Okay, let's get it straight. Let's go ahead and get that straight here. Three, two, one, action. Walk of shame times three and three, two, one, action. For clarity, let's move to the open side of the gate, action. For clarity, let's move the camera higher, action. And cut, that was great. All right, the only one left is the one that doesn't know anything about anything. Three, two, one, action. He didn't get the line. He didn't get the email. He has to delete that video. He has to delete that picture. He doesn't have any yet, though. He doesn't know how to pull up the phone or the cell phone camera on his cell phone. In three, two, one, action. Moving forward, still looking for cell phone app. But in, in a, as a matter of fact, he's supposed to be looking for the camera app, but he's looking for a cell phone app. Doesn't understand how the cell phone works. Action! And cut. Searching in the search bar for cell phone camera. Three, four, three two, one, action! And
And cut. He got it. He found it, guys. He found it. Let's go ahead and move forward on that. Go ahead and take a rain check. Go ahead and go back in for good times and measures. Go preach the good Lord, the good word of the Lord in three to one action. Moving forward, forgetting about everything, three to one action. Forgetting why he's standing here in three to one action. Forgot who he's supposed to be calling in three to one action. And cut. Scene complete. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. We got the confused call of shame look, the confused call, the confused walk of shame, the confused conversations. We got the confused, confused group of shame. We got it all, guys. We got it all. 10 4. Let's go ahead and move forward on that. Quiet on the set. Quiet on the scene. Quiet with the gate. The gate is making noise. That's good. Let's go ahead and clear that. Clear the scene. Go ahead and clear yourself. You got to delete yourself from the scene now, sir, in 3, 2, 1, action. Deleting yourself from scene. Take one. Action. Cut. It wasn't a wave scene. This was not a wave scene, sir. This is the walk of shame away from the facility, into the facility. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and do it. Move forward. Three, two, one, action. Cut. He's still on a phone call. No personal phone calls while on set. Delete the phone, my boy. Oh, the group chat coming back together. Three, two, one, action. Let's go ahead and get the group back together. Everybody round up. Back on daddy. Let's do the daddy talk of shame. Three, two, one, action. Camp back of shame. Let's go ahead and do camp back of shame. Three, two, one, action. Hold on, I just turned on the 360. You guys can walk around now. Three, two, one, action. I got the 360 vision going. Go ahead and walk around. Do the circle jerk of shame. Three, two, one, action. Why are you so upset in three, two, one, action? Cut. Cut, that's the wrong line. That's the, that's not the why are you so upset line. You're supposed to continue. Go ahead, let me go ahead and put check off that box. Put remove the check because he didn't complete the task. Upset check in three, two, one action. Why are you so mad in three, two, one action? Shouldn't do shall not in three, two, one action. Cut. They don't understand. Let's go ahead and continue on take seven of the confused conversation. Three, two, one action. That's too much B-roll. We got too much B-roll of confused conversation. I don't think they got the script. All right, let's run it anyways. Three, two, one, action. Cut. No cell phone use on production. I already told you. No cell phone use while, pro while in production. Cut. I really don't think he got the email. Did you get the notification? Cut. No cell phone. Put the cell phones away.
right, let's go ahead and delete yourself from the scene. Three, two, one, action. This is great. They're all walking together. The guy's still holding bread. He wants to break bread with his brothers. Breaking bread in three, two, one, action. He's had the same bread for 15 minutes. Three, two, one, action. And cut. That was great. That's the greatest walk of shame ever. I love it. I love it. I think Father Shandu is in there. Father Shandu. Cut. No organizing in the parking lot. Let's move on. No organizing, no organizing. Let's go ahead and move forward, keep moving. Got background noise, we got background interruptions. Let's go ahead and keep moving there, keep moving. No stopping, three, two, one, action. All right, how are you, man? Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man, I appreciate you. Woo! Who are you and what do you do? Tell us. Let me in. I'm here. Shut off this camera right now. Stop bothering these people. Cut. Go away. What's up? Fourth Amendment rights. Don't bother these my boys' rights. Man, they're all, they're all. 6969, what's up, bro? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, nice. Where's P-Dog? He's, he's out in his area. He's, I think it was live earlier. All right, uh, I just yeah. came to say what's up, bro. Right on, brother. Yeah, Appreciate right you, man. I'm right on the corner. I want to say what's up. Right on. Right on, right on. I can't believe it's me, bro. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's down. Like, oh, yeah, G. This is my hero right here. I can't believe it. Appreciate you coming my through, idol, man. Dog. All right, we got second actor on scene. Let's go ahead and hold the scene. Hold production. Director's cut edition on scene. Three, two, one, action. And cut. Asking too many questions in three, two, one, action. Get the plates, get the plates. Get the plates, get the plates. Getting plates, three, two, one, action. Cut. On their way. They are? Hold on, let me get the VIN number. Are you the one to call the cops? Get the VIN, get the VIN. You know. Oh, the bread doesn't reach. The VIN's over here, look. Can you, can you get away from my car? The bread doesn't reach, dude. What the hell? You use bread for everything. Can, can, can you get away from my car, please? I want to get out. You can get out if you want to, man. So you're blocking my, my way? I'm not. You're not even, the car's not even on and it's not even in drive. Nobody's blocking you. You have to be in motion for somebody to be blocking you. Three, two, one, action! Get the back plate in case the front one's fake. And cut. Is that a demand? Is that a demand? Is that a demand or are you asking? I'm asking you. Okay, well, I'm going to politely decline. Thanks. God bless you. Cut! Using God's name in vain. Cut! That's horrible of you, man. This guy could have got out seven reverses ago, but he chose to keep going in reverse. Cut! Sick. He kept going on reverse on, on purpose. Making a U-turn.
And cut. That was great. Good scene. Let's use that one. We can use that. Damn, that's crazy how the, to the whole entire church minded their own business except for the three blind mice. And then Mr. Red joined them. Appreciate you, man. Shalami hala. Shalami hala. Hell yeah. Thank you, brother. Be safe out there. Hell yeah. Give us your channel again. Let me in. Joe Mama 6969. Joe Mama 6969. Sick. Hell yeah. Later, bro. Sick. Cut. Cut. Oh, hell yeah. I forgot, totally forgot. Hell yeah. Oh, fuck it. For the video, I'm not. Sorry, my bad. Nice. Woo! Got the SGV pick. Show Mama 6969. Sick with it. Was that cool or what, guys? We did it. We made it through production. Made it all the way through. Let's go out and run end scene. End scene in three, two, one, action. He said the cops are coming, so we're gonna hang out and... I don't think they're coming, to be honest, but... We'll hang out, guys. We'll see who shows up. Show Mama 6969 in the house. Hey, that's down. Roll through, represent. Big Mike, got it. Charlie Cruz. Hell yeah, what's going on, guys? Photo Free America. You know how it is. Frank Pants. Sick. Cut! Got scene interruption. We can't use all the takes, guys. There has to be some scene interruptions. <laughs> <laughs> Sick one. I think PLA was live earlier too. I don't know if he still is, guys. So keep an eye out for that. Make sure he's good. Let me know. Any news from Furry? No. No, no news from Furry, man. Nighthawk Media. Faces of LA. That's good, brother. Sorry I missed you the other night, man. I was actually, when you texted me, I was on the way back already. But damn, I should have rolled up. That looked like a hot one. Eduardo, keeping the swine in line. What's good? Furry's killing it. Cut! Too much commotion. Guess that's it, guys. We'll just wait for the cops now, see if they come. If not, then we're out of here. What's going on, everybody? Out here on the streets of the SGV. I know I said I was in Hammond earlier, but I lied. Liar. You lie. Why you lie? Supposedly, they call the cops. Red shirt guy asked uh, Joe Mama 6969 if... Uh, Oh, is that your friend? This and that. And then he told them that the, that 
they called the cops and they were on the way, so. Nothing yet, though. Go ahead and roll it now. Three, two, one, action! Cut! She looked at the camera. Cut! You can use it. We gotta delete the picture. Quiet on the set, we got blue car walk rolling in, making a U-turn. Making a U-turn and three to an action. Cut. Go ahead and turn everything off. What? Yeah? Yeah, what? You concur or you don't concur? You consent or you contest? Yes or no? It was a simple question. No what? No video? What do you mean? This is America. It's yes video. Oh, don't crash. It's yes video. It's yes please video. Sick. She said we're in America, no video. Oh no, I said up in America. <laughs> Sick. Okay, rolling in. Huh? My mom is oh, mom's coming out. Mom's coming out in three, two, one, action! Looking at the camera in three, two, one, action! Let's hold the mom scene. Holding mom coming out scene in three, two, one, action! Perfect. Man, there's never been another perfect production just like this one, man. Everything is definitely going our way today. All right, hold the scene. Mom coming out. Waiting for moms in three, two, one action. Cut. Let's just hold it there. It might be a while. Mom's taking break before coming out. Three, two, one, action. Cut. Car ro rolling in. Three, two, one, action. And cut. Let's go ahead and continue mom walking out. Three, two, one, action. Cut. That's the wrong mom. That's the wrong mom, guys. Sorry. Cut. Let's cut that. Scratch that scene. Okay, roll take two, three, two, one, action. Got 5 0, rolling in. 3 2 1 action. <clears throat> rolling now, 3 2 1 action. Smile, you're on Shandu TV.
the cop just rolled by. Couldn't tell if it was sheriff or a PD. But I think it was the sheriff's. You know how they do it. Come and put you in handcuffs for everything. Yeah, just comply. We just got to do something real quick. Cut! Hold the scene, guys. Hold the scene. I guess that's a wrap, guys. Yeah, I always say that just to uh, bring tension. Bring tension to the chat real quick. Oh, no, don't end it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Is that down? I do it on purpose. All right, that's it, then. That's a wrap. Just hopefully, like, with that in mind, you know, hopefully the cops just roll up real quick. Cut! Background noise, we got honking in the background. Go ahead and hold the scene, no background noise. Yeah, well, PD passed by. Um, I didn't see him pull over, but I didn't see him. Uh, I think I see a car like way down there pulled over could be him that's him that's her let's go ahead and run the scene walking through three to one action cut that was it that was perfect I guess these guys um, decided that either they got educated over the phone or something. I think that's why the youngster came over and told Pop, say, hey, it's time to go. Mom's not coming out. Daughter getting frustrated and three to one action. Making another phone call to moms. Yelling at moms, telling her she's in the front. And cut. Is that mom's? Could that be mama? Is that mama? Rolling in. Three, two, one, action. Cut. That wasn't mama. Mama's in there having a good old time conversating, drinking coffee, all the good stuff, eating cookies and all that. Scene interruption. Let's go to move the van. Move it out the way. Three, two, one, action. Mom's leaving the scene. Three, two, one, action. Perfect. Cut. Daughter's upset because mom took so long. And three, two, one, action. And cut! That was perfect. I'm 
Big run, taking off, three, two, one, action. Mom took all the food home. <laughs> oh, man. What's going on, guys? Appreciate you guys hanging in here. Mom took forever. Cut. Delete the scene. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, another good one, I guess, guys. We'll, we'll wait a little bit longer, see if the cops show up. I don't think they will. I mean, this guy's been standing out here on the phone for a while. So I don't know if this is the concerned citizen or concerned parishioner or whatever, you know? Did I put money in the basket? <laughs> they didn't bring it out. I was, but they would they wouldn't bring it out, so they couldn't take my don't know. Coming in, three, two, one, action! <laughs> He's all shaking his head no. Cut! Reversing scene, three, two, one, action! And cut. That was the wrong line. We didn't have a line for the reversing scene. Cut. Cut. That's the wrong line. Do you know the line? Are you allowed to take videos? Of course. I'm in America. What do you think? What do you mean am I allowed? Do I need permission? Do you need permission to brush your teeth in the morning? No, right? You just do it. Right? Uh, honking in the background. Sick ass fool. He's all mad. Are you allowed? Of course I'm allowed. Cut! Right in through. Three, two, one, action! And cut. Got the riding through scene. Man, we got all the scenes today. All we need now is the piggy walk of shame or the, the shameful education on the phone of shame. Not staying for the session. Leaving now for two one action. And cut. The window was supposed to stay up. The scene is black car leaving with the windows up. Yep, you missed, you missed your cue. We got to delete the video. Keep moving. Delete yourself from the scene. Cut. Cut. Let's go ahead and delete the video. Delete the scene. Delete yourself from the scene. You're going to be on video if you don't delete yourself from the scene. Hold on. I can't get, I can't get the next one on scene. Cut. Hold it right there. Let me get you on scene. He's on scene. All right, got it. Cut. Mickey Mouse is hanging from the visor in three, two, one, action. Cut. This guy has the wrong attitude. Can't use it. Wrong attitude. Let's go ahead and keep it moving. Delete yourself from the scene. Action! No more honking and three, two, one, action!
Quiet on the set. We got background noise. Hold the scene. Cut. Who are you? I'm Rami. I, I'm here at the church. I was just asking. You're here at the church? Yes. Okay. That's good. What do you, where are you here at the church, though? Oh. Did you ask for forgiveness today? I did. What kind of sins you got going on, though? It's what, between me and God. I know, but I, like, person to person, what kind of sins you got going on, man? Come on, tell me. Tell me now. He didn't want to tell me his sins. Is that doubt? <laughs> he didn't want to tell me his sins. That's between him and God. Cut. Guy with the gray sweater upset in three, two, one action. Walk of shame in three, two, one action. And cut. That was great. That's the best walk of shame ever. That was great, guys. That was great. Let me in. Exiting the scene, quiet on the set. Three, two, one, action. And cut. That was great. Sending up a storm. Is that down? Left and right. Cut! Cut! That's the wrong line. Who's this? Can I get your name? What are you doing? Your name. Can I get don't your name? Pictures. Don't touch what my stuff, doing? man. The, the, don't, don't take any pictures. Man. What are you don't doing? take any pictures. What are you doing? That's none of your business. Who are you? What are you doing? Who are you? What are you doing? I gotta doing? check if you're on the list, man. Tell me now. Cut! They're trying doing? to steal my money. Sir, this yeah, is, you're trying to steal you my money? Listen, sir. What are you doing? Sick. You guys need a donation or what? Sir, we're good. You need what a donation? This is a Guinness? a Guinness? You guys need a donation? Oh, okay, privacy. if you don't leave, I'm going to call the cops on you. You guys okay. need a donation? This is a private yeah. sector. You're not allowed. A you private sector. Yes. Cut. It's the private sector. Okay. Hey, 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 okay. Okay. Cut. Cut. We got to delete the video. This is the private sector. I thought 911 was for emergencies. It's not your problem. This is an emergency. You're us What's your emergency? Us You're scared? I'm not scared. You're scared of a camera? No, You're scared? You're using a camera too? Oh my god. I guess we committed the same crime, huh? Can you please leave? Can you please leave? Can you please leave? Thank you. No. Goodbye. No. Well, neither can I. No. No, I will not. I will not. I'm a three-year-old. Are you sure you called 911? Oh, good for you. Good for you. That's embarrassing, man. How's everything going? Great, man. How are you doing? What's your who are you? Just, just explain to us what, what's what your problem. What are you doing? What problem? Who said I have a problem? You're, you're the one taking videos of that's us. Not a, that's not that's a problem, problem, man. No, that's okay. a problem. No, it's okay. a problem okay. when you come out acting no, like no, a jackass. No, 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 no. That's no, a problem. No, no, we, we, we watch our consent. language. Right now. I don't need no. your consent, man. You need the consent if you're taking a video of me. What are you talking about? Look up Google Maps and click on your location and check where you're at. You're in America, buddy. I don't need nobody's permission. No, 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 nothing. Quiet, okay. quiet on the set. Okay, you need okay. to take my consent. We got, if, we if got scene interruption. 
See an interruption, take three. I'm gonna start charging you guys. We're gonna to have to go ahead and start sending the bill. Go ahead and give me an address to send the bill. Where do I send the bill? You're gonna pay for it? You're gonna pay for my time? Your time? What you doing? It's it's my scene. I'm I'm doing a scene. Are you gonna pay for that? Okay, well then delete yourself from the scene then. Just delete yourself from the scene. Oh really? Oh you know, huh? Good, good for you. I'm glad you know. That means I can stay here all I want too. Uh welcome anytime. Uh this is not very welcoming when a big old gang of, of individuals come out trying to intimidate me. That's my personal business, man. I didn't show it to you. You're the one being nosy. You're the one being nosy. What are you looking for? What are you looking at? Why are you being nosy? I don't want to be videotaping. That's why I'm nosy. Oh, then don't videotape. If you don't want to be videotaping, then don't videotape. Don't take a picture of us. Okay? Okay, nothing. So that bullshit that you're, you're doing has Okay, to cut! He's using vulgar language. He's at church. He's on holy property using vulgar language. Losing control needs to act for, ask for forgiveness in 3 to 1 action. Go pray on your knees in three, two, one, action. Hurry up. Center, center in three, two, one, action. <laughs> Quiet on the set. Liars are sinners in three to one action. It's not safe, but they're all standing in front of me in three to one action. You shut up, man. It's not it's not my fault that you got a little bitch voice. Seriously. That's your dad's fault, man. That's your dad's fault. Blame it on your pops. That's right. That's right. Listen to this guy. He sounds smart. Listen to him. You're the one opening your mouth. Cut! Yep. Hurry. Go listen to daddy. Listening to daddy in three, two, one action. No smoking on property in three, two, one action. That's a sin if you have it in your lungs and you walk into the property, that's a sin. That's a sin. Sinner, sinner, hypocrite. Sinner, hypocrite. Sinner. Sinner. I could be judgmental if I want to, all day long. Leaving the scene, three, two, one, action. Go listen to daddy in three, two, one, action. He's gonna educate you. Go get educated, hurry up. Hurry up, go listen. Go listen so you can learn something, you ignorant fuck. Go, go away. No, I'm not gonna go away. Yeah, you are. No, I'm guaranteed gonna go you're gonna go away, man. Just you're guaranteed me. you're gonna go away. Like a little crybaby. With the bald spot on the back of your head. With the bald spot on the back of your head, you're gonna go away. No, no, if you want to take a video, you can take a video of my ass. Of your ass? I don't want to take a picture of your ass, man. That's, that's nasty. Why would I take a picture of your ass, man? What's wrong with you? The moment you touch me, it's on, man. Remember that. Better not get any closer, man. The moment you touch me, it's the on. The moment you touch me, it's on. Yeah, let's okay. see it then. Go ahead and put a I'm finger on me you. then, cry baby. If you're, if you're, yeah, 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 go yeah, ahead yeah, and yeah, touch yeah, me. Yeah, 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 shut up. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. That's funny, man. This is great.
crybabies. Crybabies. Nah, I don't want to go to church with a bunch of fools like you, no, man. No one asked you to come to church. Oh, I didn't ask to be here. No one did ask I didn't you ask. To I didn't ask. God sent me here. No one, no one God asked. said, this is the place. No one asked you to this come. is the no place one. where they act no, like maniacs no. and wear number three on their shoulder. God said. God said that. Oh, the police don't mean, seem to be moving really fast to your crybaby call, huh? Yeah. See ya. Uh, See ya. See ya. But walk away, one foot in front of the other one. Hurry up. Hurry up. Swallow that pride. Swallow that lump in your throat. Hurry up. Hurry up. Cry baby. Oh, I'm gonna cry now. I have feelings. I have feelings in my throat. Later, cry baby. <laughs> Later. Have that guy hug you. Hey, give him a hug. Yo, give him a hug. Yo, give him a hug, man. He needs a hug. That guy needs a hug. Hug him. Hug him. He needs, he needs love. <laughs> I told you you were going to walk away. I told you. Nah. What a shame. What a shame. Here we go, guys. Code three. Why? Why? What's wrong with you guys? What's wrong with you guys? What's wrong with you guys? Hey, what's wrong with you guys? You guys call the cops? What? Why? For what? What did I do? No, I don't agree to this. I don't agree it. I don't know. I'm not agreeing to this. Why? Are you violating my rights right now? Are you violating my rights? Are you violating my rights? Are you violating my rights right now? Why are you violating my rights? I didn't break the law. What law have I broken? They're already above my head. For what? What did I do? You have a gun in your waistband. I don't have a gun. I don't have a gun. Turn around now. I can't hear you. Now. I don't have a gun, man. It's a taser, man. Look, take a look. That's it. It's that simple. I don't, I don't give you guys authority to search me, though, man. Yeah, we're gonna get that. You could check it out, but yeah, you're not going to search me. Go to the end, All right, go ahead. Come on, let's go. Now, yeah, now, so you walk back, you my go ahead, go ahead. 
They tried to tie you, but you know, something on. Uh, one of the, it's okay. Right, no worries. Uh, taser rolling, one of these wires, co op, and uh, currently we are on the phone with the second unit. Okay, let's go to the prior unit. Because if so, the taser will not work. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 Yeah, that's what I'm
back on just to search to make sure it has any possession of anything that he should not be in possession of. This looks like it is for a camera. We're gonna put all of his stuff over by his items. I have permission. I have permission. He didn't commit a crime. He hasn't committed a crime. He hasn't committed a crime. Let my friend go. Let my friend go. I just asked him. Check with him right now. I just I went up to the... I have it on camera right here. I'm right here, brother. I'm right here for you. Then let me get on camera. Let me get on camera. Hey, do I have permission to get in it? All right, cool. Thank you. Have a good one. Look at all these people. This is the faces. I'm going. I'm a, I'm a pedestrian going through the camera. What do you mean? What's up? I'm here, guys. Shame on you guys.
What's up, man? I don't know if these guys are over here. Nah, it's me, Joe Mama 6969, Joe Mama. It's me. This keyboard's right here. So you keep closing the fence and having to keep opening it? The whole church came out. Everybody came out. Look, at, there's the pastor right there. Well, look, at, I could step on the church ground like he's bucking the sidewalk. How am I supposed to step through? I'm a pedestrian with a skateboard. Here's my boy. Their name and badge numbers? All right. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me see if they respect the law. Hey, what's up? Hey, can I get your name and badge number, man? Thank you. He's on the phone. <laughs> Why don't you guys open the windows for my boy? It's hot in there, man. It's, it's, it's hot. Is the air conditioner on, bro? Is JV okay, bro? You okay? It's not hot in there? Damn, they took out all his stuff. Excuse me, hey, can I get your name and badge number? How about you, sir? Thank you, sir. Excuse me, can I please have your name and badge number? That's unprofessional. It's very unprofessional of you. That's fine. That's fine. Hey, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a paying tax citizen of this city. So you are the reason I'm here.
there was no crime committed. You guys are taking too long. There was no crime committed. Can, we, can you guys let him go, please? He's, he's, he has not done nothing wrong. Name and ID number. All of you guys, announce yourself. Announce yourself, sir. Deputy Sheriff, LA County. Announce yourself, jackass. Sheriff. Announce yourself. Uh, sir, he's got a name badge. I can't see it. Is it shiny? Is it visible? No, it's not. What's your name and badge number? Sergeant Steiner, 439201. Present yourself properly, just like Sergeant Steiner. I'm, this is, I'm still part of a call here. This is still part of the call. This is still part of the call. Can I get your name and badge number? Deputy Gunnar That's what you're getting. Jackass. Deputy Grona? Your taser's right there. If Hold on, I'm not done. On Sir. You, okay? you have a good one. Respect to you, man, but let me get your name and badge number, man. Thank you, man. Yep. Hey, hey, Jackass, what's your name and badge number, Jackass? Hey, what happened? You guys want to put me in jail? That's what God shows you? Is that what God shows you to put people in jail? Shame on you. 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 I'll pray for you. Hey, jackass, get out of the road. Damn, sick. Sick. Rookie! <laughs> Rookie, man. Rookie! Shame on you, too! Shame on you too. Shame. Shame should be the name. This is embarrassing. And try to put people arrested for what? Shame. Shameful. Shameful. Let's go to the back. Let's go to the back. I'm going to the back. Shame on you. Shame, shame, shame. God should strike down on you. Shame. 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 Damn, they're mad, huh? Yeah. I'm mad too. Shame, 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 shame. Shame on you. Shame, shame. Shameful, shameful. You call yourself Americans? You call yourself Americans? Shame! Shame on you! Shame on you! This is not American behavior! Shame on you! You're gonna go support them after they try to get me arrested? Shame on you! 
Shame! Shame! Shame what you're teaching the people here. Shame! You want to put me arrested? You want to put me arrested for living in America? Shame! Shame on you! Shame! See, I told you guys, look. It was something, sh Shandu, Shandu something. Shandua. I told you guys. Yeah, thanks, brother. That's your back, bro. I was, oh, yeah. I was mad. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, fuck you. I was like, you're Damn, they tried hard, they dude. They tried hard, bro. They looked up my criminal history, my my vehicle history, my address. Well, they had to because they violated your rights. They had to go all the way now. Right? They had to find anything they could. Man, Luna's going to hear about this one, man. This was embarrassing. They should have. They should have checked that it was a taser and said, "Oh, okay, all right. No, you're good, man. We, we it was a false call, you know." Shame. Shameful. You don't know where the other entrance is at. She's looking behind the entrance over there. Is this it? No, it's over there where the other people are. Oh. See where those people are coming down. Oh, they don't. She don't know where the entrance is at. See, see where the guy just popped out of. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's it? Damn. Oh, look at she's all calling like, where are you guys at? They're coming. They should be ashamed of themselves, man. They call themselves the people of God and they want to come out with hate and put us put us in jail. That's embarrassing. Brother, thank you. Appreciate you. Joe Mama 6969. Shame! Shame upon you! Shame! Shameful! That's embarrassing when you want to put people in jail. What's wrong with you? Shame! And you locked the gate? Shame! Shameful, shameful. Shame, shame on you. Shame, 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 shame on you. Shame. Shame on you, shame, shame. Shame on you. Shame on you. You are not American. Don't touch me. 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 Don't touch me.
This is not godly like. What's wrong is you almost had me arrested for your lies. Your people are lying. Your people are lying. Your people lied to the police, told them I had a gun. Yes. No, you're not listening to me. Look at Linda. You're not listening to me, Linda. Listen, your people came out and bothered me. Okay? And then they told the police I had a gun. They are liars. This is the place of sin. This is the place of sinners telling lies to the police to have me arrested. Your people lie to the police. You're liars. Sinners. 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 Sinner. 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 In your booty like you like it. Right up your booty hole. Right up your booty hole. Hurry up. Sinner. Sinner, man. What? You're going to let people jump out the car and you think I'm going to be fine? You control your people. I thought this was a place of worship. Control your people. No, I'm not going to stop. You almost had me arrested. You almost had me arrested. I almost went to jail. Do you understand that? Do you understand my freedom was compromised? Do you understand my freedom was compromised today? Because of your lies. Because of your lies, that's why. Learn the law. Freedom is my right. Freedom is my right. Sinners. Sinners. You lie, cheat, and steal. Sinners. Sinners. Damn, you guys see that? Sinner, sinner, sinner. Hold on, I need the VIN number. Sinner, sinner. Sinner, sinner. That was the sinner right there, guys. That's called freedom. What you're doing is called freedom. It's called the freedom of the press. Exercise your rights. That's right. That's right. Learn the law. Learn the law. Learn the law. I'm, I'm, what? Then turn your camera off. Turn your camera off. Turn your camera off. Sinner, sinner. Sinner, we got more sinners. Sinner, repent. Repent. Go repent. You think that's good enough? You think that's good enough that I'm barely free? You think that my freedom being compromised and now that I'm out of handcuffs, that's okay? I was treated like a piece of trash, man. Your people treated me like trash. Your people treated me like trash. It's not even just about the police. It's not just about the police. Look, look, they left. You know why? Because I'm not breaking the law, okay? I'm doing nothing wrong. That's it for today, please. I do apologize, okay? Sinner, him too. He lied too. He lied too. He lied too. We're talking like men here, man. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go back inside. Go back inside. Because I told you to. Because you're an escalator. Because you almost had me arrested. That's why. Sinner. Sinner. Go ask for forgiveness. You go pray for forgiveness. You go pray for forgiveness, man. Go. Can you please? Okay. Sinners! Sinners! 
They're sinners too. Okay. I think we can, can at least go for now. Well, tell your people to go I'm inside. Gonna, gonna Control tell. your people. I will. That's what it's all about. Why are you coming out here bothering me? Okay. Control your people. Get control of your facility. Tell them to take their camera somewhere else, man. You don't want me with my camera here? Tell them to go inside. That'll solve the problem. Then I'm not filming anybody. Well, they start arguing with me, I'm going to do the same, man. It's my right. It's called freedom of speech. You cannot shut me up. This is something to speak about. This is something to speak about for some people to hear what's going on here on these streets when some when the facility makes lies to the police to have somebody arrested. How do you think so many people that are not that are innocent end up in jail? How do you think listen to me, sir, you're not listening. You only want your point to come across. What about my point? Listen to my point. Look at how many innocent people are in jail for something they didn't do for somebody's lies. Okay? It's not fair. Those people have to fight for their life to get out of jail. Okay? I would be in that situation right now, fighting for my life to get out of jail. No, no, you see? No, it's not that simple. No, no. They, they already looked at my entire record. Now they know who I live. They know where I live, what kind of car I drive. They know everything. They know my whole criminal history. What do you mean? They didn't do anything wrong. You don't have a gun. You didn't scare people. You don't think my you don't think those thirty minutes of freedom are are you think I'm ever gonna get that thirty minutes of freedom back? No. How would you like it if I jail you right now and took a, took a, took your time? For no reason, not acceptable. I know. For no reason, not acceptable, right? Yes. yes. So do you understand how I, you might yes. feel in a situation like that? Okay. Thank you, man. Thank you. I accept your apology. You but control so your people, man. I will. I will. Thank you. Thank you. If you please, I, I don't want to interrupt. Hey, if they, don't, if they don't interfere with me, I won't interact with them, okay? So let them, you, tell, you go educate them, man. Okay, I will. You go get, go get that education, thinking cap on, and tell them, hey, this guy's not doing anything wrong. Leave him alone. Sure. You know, we have nothing against him. He has nothing against us. Kids need to learn too. No, kids need to learn too, man. Yeah, but you're not teaching everyone. Yeah, kids need to learn about our rights as well. You seen all those kids that were watching me being arrested out there for everybody? Who knows what you guys were saying inside? Oh, this is a bad man. He's over here taking pictures, blah, blah, blah. He's going to get arrested. Good for him. Shame on him, blah, blah, blah. I know it. I know it. That's how you guys were talking in there in that big circle. And the moment I got out and I was free, you were surprised. You were surprised. Not surprising. Yes. Not surprising. Yes, you were, I'm just sir. I'm telling you there are kids, you know, and they get scared. But There's you were surprised that I didn't go to jail, though. Yes, you were educated. We don't exactly. We don't want to hold on, hold on, sir. Hold on. Don't interrupt. Me and him are having a really good conversation right now. Okay. Don't ruin that. No, okay. 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 Sir, I do, I do apologize. Wait. But understand where I'm coming from, yes. too. And you now you are free, right? So there is no... No, no, it's not about now, okay? What yeah. about tomorrow if I'm not free? It's not, it's not about, okay, now you're free, okay? That's why people come to America, for our freedom, okay? I'm exercising those rights. Where are you from, I ask? What do you mean? I'm from here. So you're born in America? I was born here, man. So I'm exercising my rights. Freedom. I know I have a freedom. I'm exercising my born rights. This is why people come here. Because we have freedom, man. We don't have to bow down to every command that's, that a law enforcement or somebody in government tells us to do. We don't have to. We have rights. We're free. We're free Americans to an extent, you know? But I'm not going to let somebody that, you know, came to this country for freedom violate my freedom. That's embarrassing. Not acceptable. Not acceptable. to you. Kids just get scared. They need to learn too. Your culture, your, your children, your culture, they all have to learn, man. We'll we can't be afraid of a camera, man. Yeah, we'll do. We can't. Okay, we'll no, do. but the kids have an expectation. Oh, no. Privacy. No, no. There's an expectation of privacy when they're within the church, so I need you to leave. No, I'm or, not leaving anywhere. Okay, well, you need to turn the camera off. I'm not turning anything off. Okay, You're nobody. You're, You're nobody. You right. can't come out here and start commanding stuff. Okay, Who are you? What is the purpose, sir? Who are you? Are you the princess or what? No, I'm well, not. Okay, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Okay, but I just want to know the purpose of you filming. I already explained to your buddy here. If he wants to go ahead and explain that to you, that's on him. I'm not going to explain to every Tom, Dick, and Karen out here. 
You guys can kick rocks. You guys already pissed me off trying to take my freedom away. Yes, your people lied to the police. Your your people told the police that I was carrying a gun, and because that's what the that's what it said on the computer. I'm not dumb. That's what it said on the computer that they were they were complaining that I had a gun. They lied. They lied. No, it's a taser. It's, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is that your people said, listen, your people said, oh, he has a taser. And then all of a sudden they're making a, listen, listen, Karen, listen. Your people said to me in my face, your people said, oh, he has a taser. The guy with the fucking stupid little number three on his shirt, the guy that just left. He said, oh, he has a taser. Okay, why does the police say I got a gun? When did the story change? When did the story change from he has a taser to a gun? You know when? When you wanted the cops to come and violate my rights. That's when. That's when the, that's when the story changed. I don't care. I'm standing in public. Anything I can see, I can film. If it's in a compromising setting, yes, you cannot film children. This is not a compromising setting. This is a church. Karen, Karen, listen to me. Listen, Karen. For what? I don't need. I don't need gifts. I'm not asking for gifts. We need forgiveness. Thank you. We need you guys to know what's right. Yeah. You come to us. You guys come to us, and we show you we're respectful. I'll take you. We go have some coffee. Sir, calling the cops on me is not respectful. Okay. Lying to the police. Listen. Let me explain to you. Why didn't you invite me in? You guys are guests. I go to the right now by your Why didn't you invite me in if I'm a guest? Come on, man. Come on, man. I want to know. I want to know why. Why didn't you invite me in? No, that's fine. I'm not. Look, you could have told these people to just go inside and you had control, man. You could have told them, I have control of this. Go back inside. But no, you let the Karen speak. You let the Karen speak. Oh, now you guys are worried. Now you guys are worried. Why you call the police in a car accident because you're standing in their way, that'll be a problem. No, I'm in public, man. You got, a, you got a California driver's license for a reason. You got to lawfully know how to drive, okay? So good luck with that. Good luck with that lawsuit. There was somebody standing on the sidewalk, so I crashed. How embarrassing. How embarrassing. Liars. 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 Sick, huh? You should be on the other side. Like that. I come out here, offer you stuff. Right? They should offer you from the beginning. Yeah, now all of a sudden, now we're friends. We're predators. Woo! See all those cops? All those cops were went into this parking lot next. I guess this is another church next door, but I don't know if they were debriefing in there or if uh, they want to go tell them. You know, but man, these cops, they're going to hear about this one, man. I have to get a, get a hold of uh, Robert Luna's reform team that's dedicated to protecting the people's rights. And you guys seen today, I wasn't breaking the law. We were live from the beginning. I never broke the law once. These guys treated me like a criminal, violated my Fourth Amendment to search me, illegal search. They took my wallet, took my ID, they took my belongings. And then they jailed me in the back of their, their nasty patrol vehicle. You see what I'm saying? This is not how you're supposed to treat people. Especially when somebody says, oh, this guy has a gun, and then you search him and he doesn't have a gun. There's no trace of a gun. You know what I mean? There's no trace of gun. It was a false call. Yeah, let's go ahead and call it a code for it. No, they, it's a false call. No, they can't even do that. That's how uneducated the cops are, man. They're sick.
That's why these sheriffs need reform. Even after they said, what are you doing, a First Amendment audit? They knew exactly what I was doing. It was no surprise. News yes, sir. What up, bro? Hell yeah. I remember a few years ago, I was talking about the police in Bob and Ferguson in front of there. Oh, yeah. They were mad. Uh, One of the drivers, like, that, that fool came out and tried to kick you or something. Yeah, like, yeah, you. yeah, That's dude. Funny, bro. Right on, man. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, Stay yeah, safe out there. Always, man. Bye. You have a good one, all right? All right, be safe. Hell yeah, you see? Love. Woo! Sick. Sick, my guys. Man, I was giving it to that deputy inside the car, though. Yeah, hurry up, man. Keep looking. Find something. You gotta find something, man. He was all looking under the criminal record, the vehicles. They looked under Jose Armando Gonzalez. Uh, um, places, place of addresses, Airbnb records. Yeah, those bastards, man. You know what they did is they, they see, because I'm carrying a taser, and, and the guy comes out and he's like, oh, this guy has a taser. Let's call the cops. Well, I went from this guy has a taser to this guy has a gun. So they obviously send everybody code three, like four or five units show up, you know, put in custody, and... No, this happened over here. You didn't hear the cops right now? No, but I see four or five yeah. in the driveway next door. Oh, yeah, that's where they went to go talk about everything. But, uh, man, yeah, they try to get me, man. Uh, but, yeah, you guys be safe out there. You know your rights. Yep. Hell, yeah. That's right. That's right. Stop voting for them to go away. You see that, guys? The neighbors were like, man, they're trying to violate your First Amendment rights over there. They didn't even know what happened. This guy's down. Sick one, huh, guys? Was that a sick one or what? Oh, damn, 1,700 in the chat? Sick. Nice. Thank you guys for being here. Woo. We gave him a good old First Amendment lesson today, guys. That's all I got to say about that one, education in the process, you know? We had uh, Jamama6969 in the house, came through and picked up the camera for backup. Hey, at first, when I was in the, when I was in the patrol vehicle, that guy starts playing music and I'm like, damn, that fool, he's gonna uh, copyright my video, but my camera wasn't even inside the car. They opened it again? Yeah, they opened it again. Shit. They're acting crazy over there too. They're not stopping. Oh, no? Yeah, they're like, Shh. I tried walking through on my skateboard. Almost hit me. I got on camera. Dang. Oh, yeah, dude. You out of here or what? You yeah. Know? All right, bro. Catch you on the next one, brother. All right, man. Be safe out there, man. You too. Appreciate you. Joe Mama 6969. Woo! Sick. But yeah, when I was passing by, I saw this, and I was like, Shandu? Is that the Amish? <laughs> That's why when I kept on telling them to call out Shandu, they, didn't, they wouldn't call Shandu for me. Come on, man. Why you let them treat me like that? Treating you what? Right. You, you, you didn't see what they did? You. Your brothers. Huh? Hey, let me talk to him, man. It's let okay, me talk to okay. him. It's fine. Come on, let's it's walk. Okay. Okay. Man, this is a, you, you look. don't know. Look, this is our Bob. See, that's how we serve the city of Covina. What this? Yes, this is our Bob. We serve the city of Covina. Uh huh. We have medical clinic for free. Okay. We serve all the city of Covina. We've been good. Here for over thirty years. Okay, good. You know, so we do good stuff for this. No, it has not nothing. Bad. It we has love, nothing to do with the facility, love, man. The kids get scared when they saw they saw the Let taser. Let me explain to you, okay? The kids got scared when they saw the taser in you. Why were they looking? So well, we, you, you know why? Because what? so many people bring attention to it. That's no, why. No. Yeah. You know. Look. So we we love you. We did. Say I I know you have a, a, a YouTuber. Yeah. Oh. We're not here. What's your name on the YouTube? We're not here because of your facility. Uh -huh. It's not about what you do or your progress or anything. How like do that. we know? 
if he came in it doesn't well, matter was, see, see the, pro the problem you know? is that people are so they feel so entitled to come and tell somebody what to do your guys come out to me right and they tell me hey i don't want you taking pictures get out of here <coughs> i'm like guy I, we're in america this is my right that's Leave right this is your right we look we yeah. alone but you were too close to the church and we have so, kids so your guy what he does is he lies to the cops he tells the cops i have a gun after he says oh look he has a taser oh how he does he taser. know if he had a taser or a gun because no. he doesn't know what's he the difference because he kids, told me hey, you didn't know. Okay, this is how you're far away. You. Maybe this is how you're behind the game. Let me explain to you so you can understand. I, I know your excuses, okay? <laughs> I know you want to explain. Have, I didn't have to excuse. I, I know that yeah. you want your people to look good and everything, and that's fine. I know my people are good. Yeah, you know? no, 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 they're not. No, no, they are. They if lied. you don't, well, they lied. Enjoy your time. They come, we didn't they have come to, for... to praise for forgiveness, but if they we, lied. That's what we do, my friend. That's what we do. You know. No, you can't abuse yeah. that. But you took a you can't abuse lying to say I'm going to go ask for forgiveness on Sunday. You have a good day. You can't do that. Good you got to stop. You got to stop. Sick. <laughs> Sick. He said that's what we do. No, you're not. You're not supposed to. You only ask for forgiveness when it actually happens, not because you do it all the time. Come on, man. I thought we were here doing godly things today, man. God doesn't put people in jail. That's for the devil. The devil puts people in jail. The devil! Right? That's the devil that does that. It's not God. God doesn't say look at him and judge him, throw him in jail. He's an automatic sinner. When the hell have you ever seen that in the Bible? You know? He doesn't say lock him up, he's, he's carrying a taser, no. He says love everyone. All our brothers, all our family. And it's the devil they want to put you in that position. The devil! Oh, sorry guys. Come on, man. Sin for forgiveness. Instead of praying for forgiveness, they sin for forgiveness. You should have seen that deputy going through this little bag, guys. It's a little, it's a little pouch for my 360, right? But, dude, it was literally empty. It's empty, and she's like going through the whole thing, trying to find the magic stuff, the magic weapons I had hidden in here. You know, they almost shot me, though, guys. I don't know if you guys saw that, but they almost shot me because I stuck my hand in my pocket. They're like, get your hand out of your pocket. I was like, why? Like, what did I do? <laughs> what did I do, though? What did I do, guys? I don't understand. I seriously don't. I still don't know what I did. Come on. Huh? Cut. That's the wrong line. Cut. Cut. That's still the wrong line. Hey, go drink some more, man. You haven't had enough this morning. Yeah, really. Yeah, really. Nothing, man. I can see it in your eyes. Go have another drink, man. Go feel better, man. Go. Come on, hurry up. Chupi chupis. You want one? You want one? You want a dad, bitch? Come on. I'll be your daddy. Come on. Come on, I'll be your daddy. I'll be your daddy. Hey, look, there's a cop right there. He could be your daddy too. Hey, come here. Come here. Sinners! Sinner! Sinner! 
<laughs> oh man, it just never ends. Sinners! Sinners! Damn, guys. That's crazy, huh? Is that the I'll give it here the thumbs up? <laughs> Walking backwards. <laughs> Put you keep your hands where I can see them. <laughs> Sick, I won. Oh my god, dude. What the hell is wrong with me? Let me in. That's for that's for good measures. We gotta make sure. Gotta make sure you guys were watching, paying attention. Oh man. Leaving church to sin, is that down? Ah, oh, shut up, you crybaby. Shut up, crybaby. Come and suck my balls. Come and suck my balls. I'll be your daddy. I'll be your daddy. Come here. I'll be your daddy. Hey, he needs a daddy. Let me in. Let me in. Apparently, you don't have a daddy. Is that down? A grown man claiming sexual harassment? Hey, what did he say? What did he say, though? Hey, don't get pulled over! Oh, my God, dude. I thought it's never going to end. Good proper education today, guys. What do you guys think? How to keep it going? How to keep it going, guys? Good thing we came over here today because even the even all those sheriffs, all those embarrassing deputies, those sheriff deputies, all got educated too, man. They all had to put their heads down, especially the one that I had in the car with me, the one that was searching my information. I was like, "Come on, man, you're gonna take these cuffs off, and you, you know." You, you know, there's nothing you can do about that. He's like, yeah, well, I'm not going to take him off. Maybe my partner will take him off, but I'm not going to take him off. <laughs> He's all crying about it already. He's all crying that he couldn't find something. I'm like, dude, why are you searching my, why are you guys searching me, dude? Like, what? you guys already know I don't have a gun. Like, why are you guys searching my information now? Oh, it's because, because of the calls. Like, what do you mean because of the calls? You guys already saw I don't have a gun. So now you're violating my rights. You're going to violate my Fourth Amendment? Oh, man, just calm down. We'll be done quickly here. And then, uh, so, and then first the, first the uh, female officer or the female deputies and they're typing away at the computer and she's getting all kinds of hits and hits and she's like, no, that's not you, that's not you. I'm like, sick, you can't even do your job? You can't even find me or what? She's like, well, there's so many of you. And I was like, well, what's your last name? She's like, Perez. I was like, yeah, there's a lot of dirtbag Perez's out there too. So, you know, like, same difference pretty much you know so i was like hurry up because i have another place to go to and she's like no just for that i'm gonna take longer <laughs> she said she's gonna take longer she got butt hurt too is that down she got butt hurt she's like no nah, just for that i'm gonna take longer and uh she gets out of the car and she leaves me there and the other dirt bag gets in and then he's like um and he starts searching my information too and he's like there's this little, I don't know if you guys ever been in the back of a patrol vehicle, but if you do, look at the screen, look at what they're doing because there's a lot of information right there, you know? And, and uh, so a screen pops up and it has like, like eight little gray squares. And one of them says like criminal, vehicle, DMV. And there's like a bunch of di different little boxes. And he was like, every time he would search something, he would go back to that screen and click on the next box and click on the next box and click on the next box. So 
until after he was almost like down he's like going like this like on the screen going like this like come on man select one <laughs> he didn't even know what to search next he was lost he had to get out the car and, t and give my id back to um one of the officers one of the deputies and um and uh he just gave up he walked away <laughs> sick man yep they found nothing Oh, that's him! Cut! Cut! The great truck is back! Cut! Damn, everybody's coming back, huh? That was lemon head right there, sour head. He had a bag of lemons covering his head. Pray for the sinners. Yeah, but uh, at first I started telling I'm like, what's wrong with you guys, man? Like, like, didn't you see it's not a gun already? Like, why am I in handcuffs? He's like, oh, well, didn't my partner explain that to you already? I'm like, no, your partner didn't explain anything. He's like, oh, well, I'll have my partner. It's not my call. I'll have my partner come and explain that to you right now. I was like, well, how good are, who, how good are you if you're going to allow this behavior, man? Like, he's like, well, it's because I, I condone it. I was like, oh, you condone it? You condone violating my rights? Sick. Like, even he admitted to condoning violating people's rights, man. Robert Luna's going to hear about this one, man. This is embarrassing. Sick-ass fools. crazy one though you know uh having done so many audits in this area already like you figure that you know these cops would know a little bit better and not only that but like the embarrassing part about it is like what are you doing a first amendment audit like they already knew what i was doing i was like what do you mean yeah of course i'm doing a first amendment audit what do you what else am i doing <laughs> is that down of course not i didn't tell them that but um he, uh, they, they knew what we were doing, guys. They knew that we're out here doing the First Amendment audit. And then, you know, he's like, all right, well, just sit tight. You know, sit tight. Like, dude, I have no choice. I'm, I'm under arrest at this point. Cut. The return. The return of the perv boy. Three, two, one, action. Perv boy. Pervert! Pervert! <laughs> Man, I got those fools sick when I first got here. With the 3 to one action. It was like I got every scene in the book, guys. Is that embarrassing? The, the guy has to come out and beg that we... That we, um... The one for wants to bribe me with food. Is that down, Polly? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Please. Let me buy you Starbucks. <laughs> oh, my God. That is hilarious, dude. Yeah. It's like they come out and all of a sudden they have to, they have to apologize. It's like, dude, why are you even apologizing? Cut. Thank you, man. Appreciate you guys. Be safe out there. Know your rights, man. Know your rights. Man, he's, man, they got to learn. You know, the, the, the kid, the guy's like, yo. The guy's like, oh, it's because it's kids. The kids saw the taser. They got scared. It's like, no, even kids got to learn that, hey, you know, like, 
this guy's not breaking the law. He's just out there using a camera. So what if he has a taser, you know? Like, it's not like I'm over here waving it all up in the air and stuff. Come on. You know, but that's what they want to teach their children to be scared. Like, come on. Yeah, yeah, don't record my children. Yeah, if it if it's in a if it's in a like a inappropriate setting, yeah, don't film any children ever. But come on, you're at church. What do you, what do you mean don't film my children? Get out of here. Why you bring your children over here in a pack to be a part of the drama? How about you tell your children to go back to the car or something, you know? Like you bring your children in front of a camera and then you say, don't film my children. Jeez. Sinners in three, two, one, action. Hope you guys enjoy the content today, guys. Hit that thumbs up. That's the most I can ever ask for you guys at this point, man. Just hit that thumbs up. Give me a, a good old fat thumbs up. Let the people know that the video was educational. And uh, hopefully we can uh, spread the word a little bit further, guys. That's what it's about. Teaching others, others that don't even agree with us, watch this. Sinner! Pray for forgiveness. I'm not gonna pray for you because you're not praying for me. You only pray for yourself. You can't just pray for yourself, man. What happened to love thy neighbor? You don't love thy neighbor? I'm the neighbor! I'm the neighbor! <laughs> I'm the neighbor, dude. What? I am. <laughs> yeah, he could record me, but I can't record him. Is that down? Read the plates aloud? All right. Oh, man. Hashtag neighbor, is that down? <laughs> Hashtag be a neighbor. Sick, huh? Nah, the dirty cops lost, man. They didn't win. They fed into the whole drama of it, you know? Like, they fed into the whole, like, I'm going to put this guy in cuffs because I'm feeling a certain way, you know? And not only that, but... You know, this guy's over... It, well, I was sitting in the car with him. He's over here watching, like, a soccer game or something that's going on right now. What's going on right now, guys? A soccer game or a football game or um, something. Something's going on. This guy was watching the, the football game on duty in the patrol car while he was supposed to be looking up my record. You know what I'm saying? That's a sick-ass complaint. Do you, Juan? Dude. By the house next door, right on the driveway property, and then film over the fence all day. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, man. XFL. Well, guys, there's another one for the books, man. I don't know what to tell you guys. very satisfied with the uh, outcome earlier and very disappointed on this one so that's why we got to do audits guys SGV news first man always out here uh, doing a solo run today as you can see but uh, we had backup we had Joe Mama 69 roll up on us and stuff and uh, there was also a couple other people across the street that were filming but I don't know if they were just filming because it was a police incident or I don't think there were some and we're back. Are we back, guys? But no, they didn't. They didn't put the handcuffs on that, that tight this time. Usually, I have like indentation, but no, not too bad this time because I told them, I told them like, hey, dude, I got a bad arm, so do me a favor, like, like don't jerk it up, you know. And then he told the other deputy, hey, he has a, a bad arm, so they put the handcuffs in the front. Is that down? <laughs> I'm getting privileges. I'm getting Shanduli privileges. Take three. At the Mormon church. Is that down? <laughs> you guys need another one? Was there AC? Hell no. It was hot in there, man. 
it's hot in there but uh you know what guys um i could have been in jail right now like i'm not lying like my frustrations you know uh honestly they come from people thinking like oh well he didn't go to jail so he's fine it's like dude are you serious like my freedom was compromised are you telling me if this guy all this guy had to say was one more lie for them to pull out that you know paper and and take me to jail you know all we needed was one more lie and they they were very capable of it you know so that's why i was like i hope uh joe mama is is uh, recording what they're saying because you know if these guys are lying you gotta have that uh, documented but for whatever reason i guess the sergeant decided let's let him go you know yep no, well, you guys heard of that new task force in charge of uh, of uh, weaving out the corruption. I don't know if you guys heard about that, but Robert Robert Luna has a whole like task force that that is gonna take out all the bad, you know, the bad corruption and the police, the bad cops. So that's my first. That's gonna be my first avenue. I'm gonna go there, file my complaint. Um. You know, see if there's a lawyer within their group that'll help me out, you know? And then if not, I'm definitely gonna have to try to find a, a civil attorney because to be, you know, honest, like I was definitely not, you know, um, doing anything wrong for them to have to take it to that next level and to uh, run my information and everything. <clears throat> And not only that, but take it to the extent to look up my all my cars. They had a list of all my cars right there on the on the screen. And I'm like, damn, you like that, uh, that's a sick ass lineup, dog. You like that, uh I was like, I bet you don't have a lineup like that. <laughs> I was telling the deputy. I bet you don't have a lineup like that. But yeah, they, they took it to the extent, man. When after they after I complied and said, you know, I don't have a gun. First of all, I gave up I gave up that information, you know, and then for them to then search me and see that I didn't have a gun and then for them to take it a step further and to go ahead and try to have me arrested by looking up my record to see if there was anything they can take me to jail for. It's not, they didn't look at my record just to say, oh, that's SGV News first, I knew it. Nope, and they looked at my record to be like, man, they, he has to have something dirty on there. Like the trolls, like the trolls, they say I'm an ex Fallon and they say that uh, I got tattoos all over my neck, that I'm hiding with my beard, and I, I shot somebody, and all, this, all these drama stories that I've heard, guys. But why don't they take me to jail then if I'm in violation of parole or probation or whatever I'm on magically? Or, um,. If I'm an ex-Fallon carrying a taser, which is a weapon, why didn't they take me to jail for that? You know why? Because these trolls are worthless, man. They're horrible. They're horrible liars. And they have no hard evidence. And they have, they have nothing. They're lame. You know? That's him. He's staring at me. He's staring at me. Yeah, so... Yeah, that's what I'm saying, guys. If I'm this ex-dirty Fallon with this extensive criminal record, why why didn't they take me to jail right now? Then the cops had me in possession. I was uh, in possession of a of a taser, which is considered a weapon. Why didn't I get a violation for that or something? Trolls, tell me why didn't they take pictures of me so they could put me in a gang file? The current pictures of SGV News first, the gang bot though. Some gang vato. Is that there? Some gang vato. <laughs> you know why? Because you guys are worthless. You guys are worthless. That's why. But anyways, the truth never lies, guys. That's why I don't I'm not afraid to for my information to get out there. You know, my address, whatever, who cares? Phone number, oh well, it's out there, I don't give a shit, you know? Like, my my name, date of birth, you know? Like, wow, yeah, look me up, see how many, see, check out all my felonies and 
Let me know when you got some hard evidence, you know? Sick. Damn, this wasn't even the target location I was going to either, guys. I was actually going to another target location. And when I passed by, in the distance, I saw this. So I was like, you know what? Let me go check this one out. So I came to check it out. Go, 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 go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Here they come, here they come, here they come. Get the plates, get the plates, get the plates. Just kidding, guys. Just kidding. They're not after me. Just kidding. Woo! That was a sick one, man. What you guys think? <sighs> Finally. Ugh. What you guys think? Sick education or what? Got them? I thought they got they educated them over the phone, but apparently they had to take it the whole nine yards, man. Give me a drink, give me a drink, oh! I think Polly put up the location. Polly, you have that loke? Did you have the loke, like the real loke? I know I said I was in Hemet earlier, I was lying. <laughs> Is that down, the juke? You guys got juked. Yeah, let me actually go back and get a picture of this address just to make sure. Laughing at the Shandu, Shandua, or whatever sign that was. forgiveness you're asking for is not working dude so you better go back in oh this is the one i was coming to it's a sick ass huge one but we're gonna have to save this for another day because uh looks like they're done it's pretty empty but yeah that's a sick ass one right there that's the one I was coming to, the one we just passed right here. Sick ass one. But uh, I saw that other one, I was like, you know what, let me try this one real quick. I don't know what the hell's going on with my YouTube app, but the thing is, back then it is two streams, you know? Can't even get it to work right. I was mad. I think I started one and then I had to start another one because the other one got lost in translation somewhere. Like it was MIA, I couldn't find it anymore. And then when I went to go live, it told me to start a new one. So I was like, what the hell? Start a new one, I just started one. It's in limbo somewhere, can't find it. Here's another one. too <clears throat> the hair there's a mess the down my hair 
naturally goes to the side. Is that down, guys? <laughs> I have a natural comb over. The comb over don't lie. I think I just think it was pretty messed up the way the uh, the uh, parishioners came out and then they're like, yeah, look, he has a taser. I don't know if, if you guys heard it, but I heard it. The, actually, the guy that came out almost at the end right there, like when we were on the other side, the guy with the burgundy shirt or whatever, he's the one that said, oh, he has a taser or something, I believe. And then when he said it, he told the other guy and then they were over there talking about the taser, but then it turned in from he got the taser to he has a gun on the dispatch screen. Because the dumb deputy was like, do, do, you, do you, can you read the screen? Can you see what it says right here? It says man with a gun. So we're treating it like man with a gun. I was like, yeah, but didn't you search me already and see I don't have a gun? Like, I don't understand why you're now you're running my record. Like you're trying to take me to jail now? Like, I don't understand what's going on. Oh, no, we're not trying to take you to jail, sir. Like, obviously you are if you're going to take it to the extent. Look up my criminal record and see if there's something shady that, that I should be in jail for. And then you're going to take me to jail. You know? It's simple as that. guys thank you guys for hanging in there with me though because that was crazy it's my six nine for coming out and uh representing for the for the shandus for the brother in oh yeah he did the he did a good thing coming up and grabbing the camera and, and backing us up you know now we would have been over there against the car the whole time with no vision appreciate that you know so good guy right there man gotta have respect for individuals that come out of nowhere to help somebody you know what i mean that's respect that's why you know that's why um <clears throat> that's why i like uh give a lot of love and respect to the chat as well because you guys being here and you know everything you guys do in the background I know you guys are just sitting there quietly you know you know you guys are in the background doing stuff and hell yeah much love and respect to you guys for having our backs even the trolls even the trolls that are in the background calling and saying blah 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 you know even they're doing justice for us because they're going to go and watch this video later and they're going to sh now they're going to show all their people and oh look at this guy was at our church and we tried to get him arrested him and they didn't arrest him oh i can't believe they didn't arrest him why let's watch the video and find out why <laughs> so hell yeah much love guys hell yeah we had about 17 1800 people in here earlier hell yeah that's bad sick Sick ass educational channel, man. Doesn't get better than um, IRL education, you know? Just straight out in real life. There's no fake here, guys. There's there's no story. The story is being made as we're producing it, you know? Like, you know, there's no, there's no, like, uh, script or nothing, you know? This little guy. Oh, right here. Found one. Oh, closed. Damn it. They're closed. We're still we're still um, too close to the to the non-target location anyways. We gotta get out of the city. Actually no, that was um We're in a different city now. It's all game. 
car. Where was car? I need a backup car. You weren't there. Car. Car. Is car here, guys? Was car one one of the uh, eighteen hundred? Park right here, real quick, so I can see if there's any other spots around that we can hit. Car. No, of course not. It wasn't part of the 18. Still in Covina, yeah, but earlier I was in Duarte. I believe, because that was that was uh sheriff's from I believe from the Duarte um, area. No? I lied? Uh, why was Covina having sheriffs in their area? That was weird. Most of the time, I don't even know where I'm at, guys. I'm just driving, and if I find a location, then we'll do it, you know? So, sorry if I don't, if I can't tell you what city I'm in. I could tell you where I might be, but, you know, I just got corrected. I thought I was in Duarte, and apparently I was in Covina. Hammett, is that down? <laughs> it was Covina, Kevin? All right, cool. The county part? Oh, they have incorporated too? Sick, I didn't know that. Puerto Covina, Gondora. Oh, there you go, I wasn't even in Duarte. See, I will, you guys, if you guys would've asked me, I would've been like, yeah, we're right here in Duarte. And I was lying. Just like I, just like earlier when I said I was in Hammett. Nah, but that was, that was meant to throw, throw some people off though. <laughs> Only the people like, the supporters in the area where I'm at will really know where I'm at, you know? Like Joe Mama, like Joe Mama, he knew. He knew where I was. Even if I said I was in Hammett, Joe Mama knew. Nah, he's around the corner. I got him. I got him. I'm roll up on my skateboard real quick. Don't trip. Dude, they were ready to shoot me, though, for reals. That was scary, guys. I, but I had to change the 360 camera. Um, the, the battery on my 360. That's what I was doing when they pulled up because I heard the sirens come in. I tried to turn on the 360 and it wouldn't turn on. So I had to pull out the battery. I was pulling out the battery from my pocket. And when I pulled it out, I went like this, you know? Well, that's not the battery. And I was like, what? I didn't do anything. What do you mean? You know, and I pulled out the battery and um, it's literally one of these. And I'm like, what do you mean? I'm not doing anything wrong. What did I do wrong? I snap it in real quick. <laughs> I'm all assembling it back onto the rig. And then they're like, put your hands on your head. But yeah, when you could you could see their, their little flashlights light up when they pull the trigger. You know, they pull the trigger a little bit and you can see their flashlights light up, dude. They're ready to shoot. That's dangerous, man. All that for a call. And then you show up and it's a guy with a camera filming everything. It's like, dude, you're gonna okay now. You're gonna shoot the guy with a camera. Like, come on, that's embarrassing, man. <clears throat> I think maybe a, a city hall, um, a city hall, or, or like a what are they called? Like the when they have those meetings for the for the city, might have to show up to one over here, guys talk about this unhinged behavior by the sheriff department you know and not only that but hey don't you guys know who i am already like we've done so many audits around here like my name is sgv news first you know like all i've done was audits around here before i started doing audits anywhere else i was doing audits in sgv everywhere you know everywhere in the san gabriel valley and um you know obviously that was you know by design because that's where I wanted to, you know, uh, you know, do my audits and stuff. So I did West Covina PD, Azusa, Covina, West Covina, uh, West Covina. Um, I did Duarte, uh, <clears throat> San Dimas. You know, I did all the the local uh, PDs around here. So, I mean, they should know who the hell I am already. You know, for them to come up and. You know, obviously those were a bunch of rookies, except for the old guys, you know, that had no stripes, which was pretty embarrassing to see one of the oldest guys there had no stripes. And I was like, damn, who the hell is this guy with no stripes? And then the sergeant, 
you know, luckily he introduced himself properly, but he wants to make up the excuse. Oh, he has a name tag. He has, you could see the name tag. Like, dude, it's not shiny. First of all, it's all dull and crusty. Like they have no respect for their uniform, you know, first of all. Second of all, I have bad vision. So you're not going to tell me, go look at his, his badge if I can't read it. You know what I'm saying? Sick. Sick. So yeah, guys, now we gotta go. Now the week is coming, you know? This is the start of a whole new week. Starting tomorrow, we're gonna have to go pay him a visit. You know, we're gonna have to go file a complaint, go talk to the captain or whoever's gonna come out and listen to me and they're not gonna be happy. You know, it's the whole process. And then I gotta get a hold of that Robert Luna uh, Justice Committee for the for for people's rights or whatever the hell it's called. I don't even know what it's called, but I know I'm looking for something like that that's available to the people that are rights are being violated by the sheriffs. And uh, hopefully we can open up that book, guys. And and um, hopefully it's a real it's a real thing that's gonna work for the people, because I mean. Once I do it, I mean, come on, guys. Everybody has to do the same. We all have to follow along and 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 do do what's right, you know, and um, and have have finally have some some peace, you know, within the sheriff department. Not all this gang activity and these roughnecks that work for them, you know. We got to start filing these complaints, lawsuits, getting them, uh, you know, dismissed from duty. You know, they don't, if they act like that, you know, with authority, they're probably just as worse with, without authority on the street, you know, but without the authority and on the street, hey, you don't have that badge to back you up. So now, you know, now you're going to show your true colors, you know? So yeah, man, sick. Sick, man. We gotta, we gotta find out get the process going, find out what the process is, you know? Find out the process, get that process going, whatever it is. Cooperate with them and whatever they need, whatever information they want, whatever um, whatever videos they want, you know? They want, you know, whatever they need, man, I'm with it, you know? Finally, there's, there's a committee put in place to stop the corruption within the sheriff department. All the gangs and the bad the bad corruption, all the bad deputies. So, I mean, this falls right in line with all that right there, guys, because this should have never happened. How many times has LAPD pulled up on us and said, hey, they said you got a gun. Oh, but I see it's a taser. Oh, no, it's, we're good, we're good. And then they code for it, just like that, easy. No rights violated. I understand you had a call, you know, I get that. You had a call, you had to respond, so you responded. And what you got out of it is you discovered that it was a false call, you know? So what do you, where do you take it from there? Are you gonna be that dirtbag deputy that says, oh yeah, called for, let's go? Or are you gonna go inside and go tell these people, hey, you guys are uh, wasting resources. This should have never happened. He doesn't have a gun, it's a taser, you know? It's like, you know, be a little bit more descriptive when you make your call, you know what I mean? Like they should definitely be educating people, man. But not this group, not this group right here. They were definitely waiting, willing, and ready to violate my rights today, guys. And they did exactly that. After I told them, I don't authorize you guys searching my information. And I, don't, I already showed you, you know, it's a taser. I don't authorize for you guys to search me. And they got, you know, seven guns and shotguns pointed at me. I have, you know, I'm not going to just start running, you know. I have to comply. I'm about to get shot. I'm under threat of a uh, uh, threat of death right now. You know, it's not even under threat of arrest. I'm under threat of death. These guys want to shoot me. You know, it's horrible. But um, <clears throat> yeah, that's horrible, man. That's crazy. You know, and then uh. And then the other deputy is like, oh, you know, hey, calm down. I got it. You know, hey, man, do me a favor. Do this. Like, I don't have a gun, dude. It's a taser. Okay, I see. I see it's a taser. All right, let, let us just handle this and we'll get you out of here as, as soon as possible. You know, but that's why you don't trust the police. 
You know, you can't trust that you're going to say, hey, I have this. And he's going to be like, all right, no worries, because they're still going to throw you in cuffs. They're still going to throw you in the back of the car. You know, they're, they're just, uh, man, they're sick. They're sick and they um, they're they're so untrained, you know, and they're so green. You know, they come out here and they start violating people's rights and they get away with it because nobody says anything. You know, nobody does anything about it. So what do they do? They do it again. And what do they do? They get hired at a different department, start doing it in that city, start doing it in other cities. They go a part-time shift in Lancaster, they start doing it over there. They go part-time shift in Compton and they learn bad behavior over there. So they bring it out to the SGV. And then next thing you know, the people in Duarte are doing the same thing. And it's just like an ongoing circle of, of um, you know, cops violating people's rights and teaching each other how to do it and getting away with it. Why? Because we don't say anything. That's why. Nobody says anything. Nobody complains. Nobody goes to the station to file a complaint. Nobody goes down there to talk to the captain or the sergeant or the watch commander. Nobody. You know, so that's why that's why we do what we do, guys, because it's it's kind of like to, to shine a light on it, to say, hey, make that report. You know, if this jerk bag makes it to sergeant with a clean record, he has he has a better chance at getting that position because he has such a clean record when we know, in fact, on the streets that he's a dirt bag, you know, but we don't know that because there's no criminal history. There's, there's, there's no record because he's got away with it all these years. Now he's in a sergeant position showing, you know, his team how to act the same way, you know? And that's exactly how we end up in a situation like this where a group of deputies show up and all of a sudden it's hands up and you're under, you know, you're being detained and they start talking down on you. You know, all of a sudden, yeah, this is what you wanted. And, uh, um, you know, oh, you're out here doing a First Amendment audit. It's like, okay, you know I'm doing a First Amendment audit, yet you're still gonna treat me like this? Like, it doesn't it doesn't make no sense. Wouldn't you wanna not treat the First Amendment auditor like this so, so the auditor could say, hey, uh, yeah, they knew what they were doing. No, they opened the door. They opened that door wide open to come and file complaints on all of us because we're all dirtbags and we all violated your rights and we all agreed with it, you know? And that's the bottom line. That's the bo the bottom line is that they all agreed with it, you know, and <clears throat> they think they're going to get away with it. But I'm going to file a complaint on all of them for drawing their weapons, you know, like having me at gunpoint for nothing, you know. After they they searched me and found out that I had a taser, they still detained me, threw me in the back of the car, and then searched my, you know, violated my Fourth Amendment by searching my record to see if there was anything else they could take me to jail for. Like, dude, and then not only that, but the deputy in the car watching the soccer game or whatever game he was watching. And then, you know, um, you know, just acting like a jackass when he's supposed to be the professional one. You know, that that's why they're in a position uh, of law enforcement because they're supposed to be professional at what they do. They're supposed to be courteous, you know? But, um... Damn, not today, guys. Damn, today they robbed me up, huh? Sinners. But it's true, though, man. Sinners, man. These people of, supposedly people of God coming to, uh, like, they're coming out to try to tell me, you know, not to do something that I have every right to do. Then they lie. To the cops just to get them there uh, and then not only that but and then they try to come up with an excuse at the end they're over there trying to explain to the sergeant why oh they think i should go to jail you know it's like luckily the sergeant was at least a little bit smart enough to to try to walk you know talk talk it all down and say hey we gotta let him go he's not breaking the law and unfortunately he doesn't have a criminal record that we actually can take him to jail today so unfortunately we gotta let him go you know what i'm saying I could just hear that conversation happening, you know? So it's like, man, these cops will never learn, man. Just when you think that, uh, that, oh man, like 
it's slowing down for me because these cops don't respond. They're, you know, they know our rights. They're learning, but nope. Back to phase one. Back to phase one. Unfortunately, <laughs> is that down? <laughs> Unfortunately, back to phase one. You know, but as long as there's an academy open where new deputies and officers are flooding the streets every month or every week, every month, every six months, whatever it is, man, there's a lot of work to be done out here, guys, because, you know, those are the dirtbags that are, are going to think that because they have that badge, because they have authority, that they have the right, they think that they have the right to violate your rights, guys. That's what they think. But <clears throat> hopefully we can put a put a stop to as much as we can, guys. Like I said, we could only we could only fix what what's in our arms reach, you know? I can't I can't fix what's happening on the other side of the world, on the other side of the state, on the other side of the city, you know, but I can I can definitely have some control, some self-control of what's happening right in front of me, okay? So hopefully you guys will stick around and, and be a part of that with me because there's definitely a lot to do out here, guys. And, uh, you know, it's time to get back on those complaints, you know? I've, I've filed plenty of complaints, you know? And what I've, what I've learned that with, with filing all those complaints, not one not one has came back and said hey yeah uh, the offer officer was reprimanded or whatever because they don't tell you they don't tell you anything but all i know is that that officer starts shitting in his pants when he gets the notification that you are under investigation you know what i mean even though if at the end they figure they find out that okay well yeah i guess your actions were justified at least he has to ship bricks for a couple of months before that process is over you know so puts them on their toes too, you know, and keeps them on their toes, so. Yes, sir, man, crazy, huh? Craziness, guys. Or under a lawsuit. Yep, but yeah, it's time, guys. It's time to, to make a brighter change out here. And, uh, definitely gonna have to find um a good lawyer that's willing to take it the full the full battle you know not just supposedly take you to battle and then and then give up at the end like some people do you know um you know but i've been there before i've been in a battle and all of a sudden you know the the lawyer the lawyer backs out at the end you know so we need we definitely need uh Somebody that's gonna fight for our rights, guys. And hopefully this Luna team that they got put in place is supposed to have a team of lawyers and a team of this and that. And and we're gonna see what they can do. You know what I mean? Because this is not the first time something like this has happened to me um, where the sheriff show up and they're mistreating people or unlawfully detaining people. You know, they, they could have handled this whole situation without having to put me in cuffs and throw me in their car. They could have seen that it was a taser. They had already searched my person, you know? And they could have been like, no, yeah, yeah, you're good. It's just a taser, it's a false alarm, you know? But they don't do that. They don't do that, you know why? Because they'd rather, they'd rather violate your rights. They'd rather put you through the headache, you know? Um, They'd, they'd rather put you through that whole process than to just say, oh yeah, we were wrong. We were wrong, so uh, you were right, so you're, you're free to go. No, they're gonna say, uh, we were wrong, but let's try to find something. You know, like, no, this guy has to have a criminal record. Maybe he has a ticket. Maybe he has a ticket that's pending or something, you know? But uh, and yeah, they take it the whole nine yards, man. They really want it. They really want to take us to jail. Joe Mibson, your mods blocked me for what? They're speaking that word. Last donation and unsubbed. First Amendment and stuff. Damn, sick. 
Uh, I don't understand. Oscar Reyes. Sinners! Appreciate you, Oscar. Hell yeah. Stacy Blaine. Behind the scenes. Is that down the clapper board? I should have brought up, busted out the clapper board today, huh? Nah, they would have broke it. They would have broke it. No, actually, yeah, I, I had it with me too. I didn't even think about it. Just because I was thinking of doing the, you know, Shanduli Sunday usually comes with Shandu, which made a small appearance today, but, um, you know, didn't, uh, didn't make his full appearance, unfortunately. <laughs> Which would have been funny when the cops got there. What is problem? Oh, shit, my friend. What is problem? Oh, handcuffs. No, I do not like. That is, do not touch me with this, my friend. <laughs> Stacy, number one fan. Hell yeah. when I called for security. The guy starts looking around like security, what the hell? Yeah, I don't know what happened to the feed earlier, guys. I tried to reset it and then it just ended completely. I was like, what the heck? So, uh, so that's why I moved on over here. I moved on over here and then I started a yeah, I don't know. The app's been acting kind of crazy. It's a little bit strange. And I and then what I did is I checked my phone. I was like, maybe my phone needs an update. So I, I run the update and yeah, my phone needed an update. So I ran the update, installed it, and I still had the same problem with the stupid app. So I was like, oh, well, I guess it wasn't an update. <laughs> an update type of situation, you know? I need a drink, I need a drink, huh? Oh, let me in. Oh shit, let me in. <clears throat> yeah, give me a drink, give me a drink. We rolling, they hating, poo poo trying to catch, catch his rod and dirty. Yeah, he was definitely trying to catch me, not even riding, walking dirty. Trying to catch me walking dirty. Sickos. I definitely, I, I really enjoy putting the deputies in place though, especially when I'm in handcuffs. Like, man, this is how you treat people, man. What's wrong with you? What law did I break? Oh, uh, 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 my partner didn't explain that to you? No, they didn't explain it to me. Why well, am I in handcuffs? I don't understand, dude. Uh, well, I, I, he said something about you had, the call was about a gun or something. I was like, yeah, but you guys know I don't have a gun already, so why are you still treating me like this? Like, they get so stuck, you know? Like, they don't even know what to say themselves, you know? Which is a good thing, because they should be feeling, like, a certain way, you know? Like, damn, maybe I made a mistake today putting this guy in handcuffs. But no, they won't own it. They'll just uh, try to come up with an excuse of how it ended up a good thing, even though they violated somebody's rights, how it ended up a good thing that they put him in cuffs because we found that he had a warrant for for a ticket he never showed up to court for because he didn't use a blinker or he didn't, he, you know? Something lame, you know? Like all of a sudden they want to take you for, for oh yeah, he has he has a, uh, a failure to appear, you know? Oh, that was that was one of the little gray boxes, FTAs, you know, uh, failure to appear, court, DMV, vehicle, 
criminal, traffic, and something else. Respect to those guys, man. <clears throat> like I told that deputy, hey man, respect to you, but I need your name and badge number two. Like, <laughs> a file a complaint on you too, you're part of this too. You know what I mean? Even though they didn't, you know, jab my arm up the way they did in Westminster. Yeah, after I told them I have a broken arm, they still went and broke it more. You know? How am I supposed to get better if it never heals? Got all these arm breakers. Blue sky, fly your area by your area, sick. How do you know that? You can see out my back window. There's another spot right here, but it looks very closed. Actually, two spots, three spots. the guy that comes out with the children are scared like no the children need to learn too man like you can't be treating people like this and making up lies to try to have somebody arrested what's wrong with you guys What I say is true, man. People come to this country for freedom because where they come from, some countries, they don't have those type of freedoms, man. As a matter of fact, some countries don't have freedom at all. You know? So it's like for you to come here and then start crying about it, crying about what I'm, what my freedom entitles me to do, you know? It's like, dude, you just came from no freedom to all freedom, now you're gonna cry about my freedom? Get out of here. What's wrong with you? <laughs> right, Kevin? but you're free now, right? You're not in jail. Well, that's not the point. The point is one more lie and I would have been in jail. I would have been getting fingerprinted, you know, having to sit in a dirt hole because they don't clean their jails, you know? Like that, it's, it's very besides the point that, but you're free. You're not in jail now. That's besides the point. I I, I just, man, that, sh that lit me up when I heard that. I was like, what, you know? What do you mean, dude? So you're gonna lie and put me in a position where I can't be in jail, but because I'm not in jail, that's okay now? You think your lies, the lies you did to get me in this position, now they're okay? That's not okay. The hell's wrong with you? You know? Our nation is the best. You know it. Hi from France. What's up, Hakeem from France? Hell yeah. He wanted to take us to Starbucks, huh? The fool, he's all, yeah, let me take you to Starbucks. I'll buy you some. I'm not asking for your charity. I'm not here asking for anything. I'm asking, all I want is my freedom. You know, and that's not asking you for anything. That's that's pretty much, well, I guess I am asking for something because that would mean you would have to leave me alone. So I guess it is asking for a lot, my bad. <laughs> it is, it's a lot for people to handle. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. Let me in, let me in. Yeah, I guess you would have to expect for somebody to give you something. And that's your freedom, right? So I guess everybody owes 
everyone else something. That's the way I see it. I don't know you anything. What you do owe me is my freedom and my respect. But yeah, it's pretty sad that the guy had to come out and apologize for his his people. You know, like and then not only that, but he couldn't even hear my my reasoning to to his reasoning, you know, like come on, you're gonna you, you know, you wanna shut me up and say, No, these are good guys, they would never do that. No, this is not what they wanted to do. No, they never said that. They never said you had a gun. No, no, they they were trying to show you love, not hate. No, you are welcome, of course. You know, like he's coming up with all these excuses the whole time. I'm like, dude, that's not what happened, though. What happened is this guy saw that I had a taser, and then he went and called the cops and told them I had a gun. That's the problem. Because he knows that if he would have told the cops, oh, this guy has a taser, they would have been like, oh, yeah, no, there's, that's not illegal to carry a taser, so, yeah, you're totally good, you know? There's no reason for anybody to come out. Just like they do in so many other uh, departments, I guess, besides the sheriffs. You know, the sheriffs think that uh, they have to jail everybody. So that means uh, detain you and run your information to see if I could take you to jail. You know, it's pretty pretty messed up, guys. Pretty messed up. You know, but like I said, man, it's like, hey, you know, I'm out here and my freedom, my freedom is on the line, you know, because anybody can lie without even seeing that video. They haven't even asked to my side of the story or nothing. If you notice, they never asked my side of the story, guys. They just detained me and then took me out the car and said, you're free to go. They never asked me for a, a, my statement or a story or anything like that. You know, what are they going to put in the report? You know, that that's very surprising. Like, it makes me question the, the uh, deputies even more now. What are they going to put in the report? You know, the the... The suspect said, what? You know? Oh, he just started bitching us out right away, so we just let him go. Over. <laughs> Sick, huh? guys I guess I might just call it then I don't see any other without actually looking for a spot hold on let me pull over again see if there's anything else if not I'll let you guys go appreciate you guys being here just wanted to talk about it a little bit after the whole situation you know I could be in jail right now so I'm kind of like enjoying my freedom with you guys because I could be in jail like like being processed and then, you know, being put in a cell and all that stuff right now. So I'm just kind of like enjoying my freedom with you guys, if you don't mind. <laughs> Is that down? Because <laughs> I was almost uh, locked up again. It's crazy, man. But seriously, man, that's why, that's why we definitely have to file these complaints and move forward on them, you know? File complaints and follow up. Hey, what's going on with this complaint? Who's, who's, the, who's the, um, the detective that's in charge of this complaint, you know? And get on them. Hell yeah, appreciate you, appreciate you. Lloyd! Yeah, I've seen Shabrice Logistics live earlier too, guys. Uh, I, I was trying to link up with them today, but that was hours ago. <laughs> Is that down? But uh, yeah, he was out there doing an audit too. Hell yeah, it's down. And uh, PLA too, Pedro, the new Pedro. Pedro was live. I see the alert pop up real quick. But uh, that's when I was getting to this place, so I wasn't able to tune in. 
so a couple of a couple of new videos out there if you guys are interested go check out Pedro de Barada's obviously you guys probably have already and shop rice logistics and media where you at Chile Verde, is that down, Joe? Hell yeah. Taco truck time. Burrito de frijoles con un chile verde in the house. Hell yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be locked up forever. I would just be a couple of hours, but it's still held against your will, you know? Still uncomfortable situation, guys. Nobody wants to be in that situation, so. Yeah, man. Hopefully you guys are able to take a page from that and get, get a little bit of knowledge from what we all learned today, man. First of all, never trust the police. First and foremost, never trust the police, man. I don't care how many times they shake your hand or how nice they are to you. They have a job to do, you know? And their duty involves corruption most of the time. You know, to be honest, like, their duties, their daily duties involve lying every day. Lying to people uh, on every right turn. So you guys never trust the police, man. I know I've said, I've said it before, there's a lot of good officers out there and respect to them for respecting us. But also you got to realize that, you know, it, it could be just a way to say, hey, yeah, like, you know, gathering more information type thing, you know, like, well, maybe I can get some more information out of this guy, you know, hell no, can't deal with that. It's not down. Either that or uh, kind of like, oh yeah, this guy trusts me, so we can, you know, we could use him or something. Hell no. Nah. Gotta keep our distance. <clears throat> respect for respecting my rights, but keep your distance, dog. Me and you, we don't get along. Is that down? <laughs> Is that down or no? I had an off-duty cop pull up on me one time. He said, I'm a, off, I'm off-duty and I work for this department. I don't even remember what department it was, to be honest. But he's like, I see what you guys do and, you know, I appreciate what you guys do and stuff like that. But I'm like, okay, thanks, you know? And that's it. Because, uh, like I said, that, that badge holds them to a higher standard than to understanding my rights. So that could be all bad. <clears throat> Let me shake this spot real quick, guys. you off on the GPS guys I see you guys tracking me track them track them making a left making a left another left another left another left driving erotic driving erotic track them track them you run the stop sign you run the stop sign that one might be officer done this one before.
nice cars in there, but I might have hit it at the wrong time. All right, guys. If I find something else, I'll bring you guys back. Appreciate you guys all tuning in with me today. Much love and respect to all, especially the the new parishioners that are watching us from that that church, the Church of Lies. Hopefully, uh, you guys can, you know, teach another, teach one another to uh, to not act like that one guy did. Cut. All right, guys. Peace and love. We'll catch you guys on the next one.